3 apples, 177 euros. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and this week's question comes from Ella and she writes Could you please do a video on the cost of living in Austria? My husband is German-American and I'm Swiss-American. We both know basic German and plan on taking more classes to perfect our German. My husband retired from one job and has started a new career in the logistics industry and I am in retail management. Could you please let me know what to expect when it comes to salaries in Austria and how expensive is the cost of living? Thank you. Great question, Ella. Thank you so much for asking. Um, but before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you are interested in topics around moving abroad, tips around integrating in a new culture, uh, immigration, home search. Nessie is here again. Hi. She's the <laughs> expert for these topics as well. So we do new videos every single Tuesday. So maybe let's answer the first part of the question uh, about salaries in Austria. Yes. I think of course it highly depends on where you work, what kind of job you have, in which industry, uh, but there are average numbers. In Austria the average salary would be somewhere about 30,000 a year, but this is gross salary, so uh, you have to be aware of the taxes. The taxes in Austria can be quite high. You will be paying about 30% income taxes. Also, you might want to check out the Teleport webpage where you will find the job salary calculator. So you see, for instance, a car manager, the median salary is 31,000. Of course, this is again a gross sum. Maybe another position. What do we want to check out? The project manager. Let's take a look at project manager. We see that the average is above, for instance, compared to other cities and it's around 50,000 euros. But I also did a video about the salaries in Austria or in Vienna, especially the very good paid jobs in my last week's video, so make sure to check it out. So to get back to the taxes, there is this great page Brutto Netto Rechner, which means you can calculate your net income. You just put in a salary you would receive, for example, if you have already a job offer, and you will see with the average of 30,000 gross income, you will receive at the end about 20,000 euro and it is about 30% of taxes. Also, one of the most important parts of the cost of living is the apartment. And we also did a video on this topic, so make sure to check it out for very helpful tips on finding an apartment with more ease and maybe a little less pricey. Check it out here. However, we want to show you some examples so that you get a bit of a feeling of uh, how costly the apartments in Vienna are. Also, you can check out the cost of living again on the Teleport page and you can see that, for instance, the average for apartments is around $850. Also, you can compare small apartments with large or medium apartments. You see that large apartments, for instance, are priced at $1,600. To show you some examples, we will use the page Immobilien Scout 24. It's a page where you will find a lot of apartments where you can put in your search data, which we already did. So we are searching for apartments 50 to 80 square meters. For example, here you have an apartment in the first district, so in the city center. And it's 56 square meters and you will already pay almost as much as the average for a large apartment. On the other hand, you have an apartment in the sixth district, similar size, but you will pay 830 euros a month. Fun fact here, for example, a townhouse with garden and four <laughs> rooms can be almost the same uh, rent as a small apartment in the first district. So, of course, another important part of the cost of living is the food. So let's see what the basic stuff costs in Vienna, Austria. So, three apples, 177 euros. How about the bread? So you can see that bread costs around two euros, half of a bread. There are of course different sorts. And I don't think they have the gluten-free version, so you might need to go to the bio market for that one. Since I 
cannot drink milk, you know, the normal one. Then normally I buy uh, the sheep one and it costs exactly 2 euros, 1.99. So the eggs are, there are 6 eggs and they are cost 2.69. There are of course different ones, so you can compare the prices, but uh, I don't think the differences are that huge. Of course there is a difference between bio and not bio. And of course beer. So uh, which one do you like, Nessie? Wieselburger. <laughs> which 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 one? The is one it? in front of you, the blue one. Ah. Okay. So this one costs one euro. Then there is the Stiegel, and it's a bit billi bit bit billiger. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit, little bit less expensive. But it's a special offer, right? But that's a special offer, exactly. I'm definitely not paying for everything since um, yeah, I'm going home for the weekend and it wouldn't make sense to buy a lot of things. But I hope it helps and yeah, let's pay. Good, now let's take a look at other costs of living. So, and being again at the Teleport webpage, you can see the daily cost comparison, for instance, compared to San Francisco. So you can see that the prices are on average a bit less compared to San Francisco. And maybe to mention the, the internet connection in Austria, here's an average price of $24 a month in Vienna. We want to show you a page where you can compare different providers. Durchblicker.at can be used for all of Austria, not only for Vienna. You can uh, choose what you would like to have, like for example, a contract with a mobile phone provider. You can put in the um, minutes you want, to, you want to have included, the messages, the data. And then it will show you uh, different providers all over Austria that you can choose from. And some of them are more expensive, some are less expensive, depending on maybe, for example, the internet speed. Of course, the prices depend on a lot of different factors. Um, for example, do you choose a mobile phone from the provider, then you will pay more. Yeah, that's true. For instance, I, I did it and I pay around 40 euros a month, but I have a new cell phone. I bought a cell phone on Amazon and I'm paying about uh, 15 euros per month. Huge difference. Yeah. Also, if you need more information about moving to Vienna, moving to Austria, information on immigration, yes. Home search, yes. <laughs> Did I forget something? Everything's there. <laughs> we have a free ebook or a free guide. Make sure to download it. So Ella, I hope it helps, of course, also the others who might be asking themselves how expensive Vienna really is. Or Austria in total. Exactly. I hope we could give you some good examples. So also we would like to hear from you. What are the costs in your country? Is it more expensive, less expensive? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, give us a like, subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I catch you next week on Boundaryless.